Hello, I'm Brantley, and uh, you know, just um, haven't had a chance to do a whole lot of shows lately, so uh, I kind of wanted to come on and and hang out and see if uh, and go over a few videos live. And so, um, do want to make sure to tell everybody, you know, because uh, I'm obligated. It's like you're all of us are obligated to say this okay none of us want i don't think to have to say this but we're obligated so smash that like button and subscribe you know to, and and ring that bell to get further updates you know that sort of thing um and i guess that you know if you're on twitch follow me on twitch please uh i need followers there because uh, I'm going to try to start doing more stuff there. Do you want to do a uh, Patreon? Uh, I got a Patreon. You can um, go, you know, you can go to patreon.com forward slash unapologetics. And uh, if you want to contribute, I've been having some uh, medical issues. So, uh, you know, any bit you, you can uh, help with would, would be a, would you be a big help still. Um, but yeah, I got, I got some videos uh, to go over. So, I, uh, I found, uh, you know, I, I was looking through, it's been a minute actually, since I would like gone through right wing watch. And, uh, so I, uh, found me some, some stuff to look at. <laughs> Hopefully y'all like it. It's uh pretty, pretty interesting. Um, oh yeah. And, and go, go ahead and check out, um, the unapologetic 666.wixsite.com slash my site. I know it's, it's a lot to remember, but you should check that out sometime. Uh, it's, uh, that's how you get to a lot of, uh, Nikki and I's content and it's, uh, it's pretty good. And this looks like the pinned tweet. Yep. Okay. So I don't even know if I, I don't think I listened to this one. Well, let's uh, let's see what's going on here. The creator who created a, this whole thing with LGBT is the zenith of man's rebellion against God. Oh, that's right. Okay, I did watch this. The creator who created us in his own image, we're saying no, we will decide, not biology, not science, we will decide what our gender is. Mm. This is the zenith of rebellion against God. Mm. Okay, look. It's not rebellion against God unless you can deter like uh, uh, uh you can demonstrate that he actually exists. Other it's, otherwise it's just us rebelling against who what you think your God that you the made up in your head believe he might want. Okay? That that's all that's happening here. We're not, nobody's actually going against any actual God because if, if they were, then he could, couldn't he don't, isn't he powerful enough to come down and tell us himself fucking self, like what he wants and what he doesn't want. Cause this, this is fucking really annoying. Everybody just keeps on coming and saying that they know exactly, you know, what God, you know, wants and, and, you know, all oh, and these people are going against it and doing it's like just so wrong just for being who they are, you know? And the fact that we've, you know, become a little bit more accepting about, uh, you know, and relaxed, relaxed actually, and a bit more fully understanding, really, gender uh, as it is um, in reality. Like, we, you know, uh, oh, that's just such a b big thing that we're not just basing all gender off of peepees and hoo-hahs, you know, and that's just, that defines everything that has everything to do with gender. That's super. And then they want to sit there and say, oh, they're so unscientific. And we're like, really? You're the ones that like, can't seem to get your head out of the fact that gender is more than just peepees and hoo-hahs. It's not that simple, <laughs> but yet we're the ones going against science. Hilarious. Like, <laughs> Just you know, as if they really give it, as if they really know anything about science whatsoever. You know, they. I'm pretty sure they think science should just stick to its guns on everything. But anyway, sorry, I'm going on a little rant here. But let me. See what else and is. and that is the only explanation for how people are surrendering to this agenda, how adamant the advocates of this agenda are, and why we. As believers in Jesus Christ who love people and do not want to see our children condemned to confusion for the rest of their lives must speak the truth of God's word. Jesus did it. Matthew. What did he say? 
Let me see. 19, mm-hmm. Jesus said, have you not read from the beginning that God created them male and female? Yeah. Jesus made yeah. very clear there are two genders, not 52. There are two. We can never accommodate darkness. Jesus also said <laughs> that the, you know, uh, the mustard seed is the smallest of all seeds. Um, you know, I mean, he also thought that he could help somebody's blindness by putting mud in their fucking eye, um, you know, and spit. He, uh, you know, <laughs> he said a bunch of dumb shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, what the fuck would we take, like, anything he has to say seriously or had to say or what people believed, again, that he said? Because we don't even know that he said anything. You know, or that, that he said anything that people are saying he said, you know, because everything is so convoluted. All all of the texts that we've pulled everything from for the Bible have been all from mismatched texts. None of it. There are no two texts that are the same. And we pull, pulled from a whole bunch of those. And then we got what we have today as our Bible, uh, you know, and so acting as if Jesus, as if they know Jesus said literally anything is presumptuous as fuck. But anyway. Because this, look, I'm going to be very clear about this tonight. Those that are opposing us on these issues are not our enemies. We know that our enemies are, are spiritual. The, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Our enemies are not flesh and blood. They're, they're the spirits that can, the demonic spirits that control so much. Oh, my God. Okay. So, but, you know, then go fight them. Go stop them from having rights, okay? Go go vote that the spirits don't get to have rights, okay? If they're the ones that you're actually fighting against, you know, the thing is, you, you can't take rights away from them. You can only take rights away from the people that, you know, uh, that you, you clearly hate. I know you could say all day that you don't hate these people, but yet you're going to sit here and say, but my God says that you're going against everything that he created you to be, you know? And everything. And it's like, and again, you can't demonstrate that you know that your God even thinks that other than just like by showing me a Bible, you know, that's been interpreted a million and a half different ways, you know, to mean a million and a half different. It's just like whatever you actually, whatever you feel, you can find a justification for in the fucking Bible. So I can't really take that as like the end all be all of what you know, an actual God said, unless you can demonstrate your actual God and then have him say some shit. But, (laughs) you know, this is, but the fact that they're just so obsessed with this fucking, with with this gender stuff, it just, it just kills me, you know, because they're just, it's so difficult for them to just get, get around. And you know what I think a lot of it has to do with, um, it's, it's about fucking, you know, and I, cause, cause it's about, you know, men don't like a patriarchy where they can't know automatically who they get to fuck. You know what I mean? They just know from just with, with looking or, you know, uh, you know, just that they just get to know who they want to fuck. And that, and that's, you know, adding more genders or, you know, however they're, they're framing it uh, with non-binary or, or, you know, uh, transgender folks or whatever, like, however you want to, what, you know, however you want to play, it makes it more difficult for men to just be able to decide who they, you know, or who they get to fuck or not, <laughs> you know, and it makes things a bit more difficult for them. And I swear, I think that's a big, big part of it because that's what they think. They think every, you know, uh, gender only exists for men to be able to fuck women, you know, um, and, and make, make them, uh, make moms out of them. You know, make them little baby makers, and that—that's you know, that's all there is. That's all they're there, that they're there for. <laughs> you know, even though there's plenty of women that don't do that, you know, by choice and otherwise, and you know, uh, which is and is perfectly fine. Like you don't. Th- this is the thing they—they they have this, and I go. I, I know I say this a lot, but they're the sposedas. They have all these sposedas. And this is basically just all conservative f- thought from like forever ago, just like basically saying, hey, look, you're supposed to do this. You're supposed to do that. You know, uh, you know, black people are supposed to be separate and definitely not equal. Um, you know, uh, the, the gay people are supposed to just not exist. So they really need, need to be quiet about, you know, if what, who they're attracted to uh, and need to just shut up and stay away. And uh, definitely don't ever say that you love men uh, in front of children because, oh, my God, you know, their their little child brains will just fucking fry, 
you know, uh, like it's just ridiculous. But uh, that that's the thing. It's they're they're stuck in this like supposed to stays world, you know, where everybody's like. They, see, the farther back in time you go, the the more supposed to there were, and the more that they were they were adhered to, you know. And so there, it's driving them crazy. So we've gotten to a point basically where we don't give a fuck what you think I'm supposed to do. Okay, we do not. I don't give a fuck what you think I'm supposed to do. Who you think I'm supposed to believe? I don't give a fuck, okay, about any of that shit. You know, I go by what I, you know, what I can see, what I can demonstrate, you know, and like what the science says. And like, I know that you don't like the science because it says something other than your 2000 year old book written by fucking Bronze Age sheep herders says, like, you know, but uh, sorry, I'm going to go with the uh, the people from like today saying shit uh, while they're experimenting on things today. You know, with the technology we have today. But, uh, yeah. All right. That's my rant on that. But, goddamn, these fucking people make me so fucking mad with their goddamn hate for it's It's hate. It's just hate. You know, they act like it's not, oh, we, we don't hate them. We hate the spirit of the demons. Okay. Then go fuck with them. You know, leave, leave us the fuck alone. You know, it's like, but. You know, since they uh, can't really do that, since they don't fucking exist, they have to fuck with the people that, uh, you know, um, just live in accordance to the uh, against, you know, what they believe the supposed are. Oh, yeah. God, I hate this guy so much. I, I don't, you know, I honestly don't. I mean, it, it, you almost want to get like irritated that he's even just being noticed and talked about at all. But the problem is he is Nick Fuentes is a fucking person that people listen to, which is insane. And why, why the fuck is he in a big empty fucking, what is this? He looks like he's in like, he thinks he's in like, but you know, like in Batman when his like uh mansion burns down, you know, and he get he's like in the, the dark Knight series and he has like his little spot, like <laughs> you know, that he goes to, it's just like, uh, in the building or whatever, but it's not, it's like, oh, anyway. Satan and from the evil empire in the world, which is the United States. Evil Empire is an excellent album by Rage Against the Machine. And I'm sure he is not talking about that at all. Uh, we will find out what he's talking about uh, in just a sec. But the thing is, here's the thing. I, this guy plays off of every base urge that you could possibly feel without any critical thinking whatsoever like the whole point of people like this guy are to not use critical thinking just respond via whatever emotion like pops into your brain at that second you know and that i mean and the problem is that works that's the sad part is it fucking works you know, people freak out. They they just um, automatically they they feel they they're being told to feel a thing, you know, uh, like like racism and stuff like that. You know, and they're like, yeah, I feel that too, just perfectly naturally without any without giving it any thought whatsoever. I'm just gonna totally, you know, just like people that are different than me. You know, uh, it's just and it's just sick, you know, and it's 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 years and years of conditioning. I don't want to say it's like, I think that it's natural. I don't think it's necessarily natural. I think it's natural to possibly fear what you don't understand and cultures that you don't understand, you know, uh, I guess you could fear them. And, but uh, I think it's a purely white thing to sit there and act as though we are better than all of the other. That, that is not natural. That, that is, you know, that's just, that's just some white shit right there to just believe they're the best thing since, uh, I don't even know. Slice more. I'm slice bread, I guess. You know. Well, oh. all right. Let's see what this dickhead has to say. We continue to support Czar Putin in the war effort. Can we get an 07 in chat? We, you know, we want to just keep in mind. We want to keep our brave soldiers in the white, blue, and red in our prayer. What the fuck, dude? How do you how do you end up in this? How do you end up with this position? Do you like how, how can you know what's going on in Ukraine? And end up here. We were like, yeah, man, Putin. Good for Putin. You know, he needs to really go into countries that aren't his and like 
take it over? What the fuck are you talking about, man? Jeez Louise. Prayers and in our thoughts as they continue to liberate Ukraine from the great Satan and from the evil empire in the world, which is the United States. Which is the United States. Oh, my God. So, Satan. So, see, here's a, again, like, where the logic eats themselves. Like, you're saying that America is the great evil and is the great Satan or whatever. But you're also, like, obsessed with loving America. Like, your whole thing, AF, is not as fuck. Like everybody, you know, thinks it <laughs> it is when you're talking on Twitter or anywhere else. No, AF is America first, you know, because you you just got to mindlessly love America no matter what. And put the American flag on all your clothes. And even though you're not allowed to do that, according to the rules of the flag, you know, uh, and <laughs> just all this, uh, you know. But they, then they all sit there and say that they are Satan and you know, Putin is actually the good guy because he's liberating Ukraine from the American tyranny that's been going on. My God, what the fuck? How do you get how do you get hot takes like this? How do you get hot takes like this? <laughs> Jesus. United States. So, of course, uh, our thoughts and prayers, our hearts go out to you. The pride of the Tsar, the pride of Moscow. We continue to root for them as they liberate Ukraine. We continue oh to support Tsar Putin in the war effort. Can we get an 07 in chat? We what the fuck? All right. You, you, no, man. He's committing fucking war crimes, you dumb shit. <laughs> he just decided that some pla the places in Russia were like, you know, um, that have a lot of Russians in them. I'm like, you know what? You're Russian now. <laughs> That's basically what happened. <laughs> you know? And the Russians were all like, cool. You know, and the Ukrainians were like, hold on, what the fuck? What? What? What are you talking about? This is insane. No. Uh <laughs> Jesus Christ. And of course, Nick Quintes has to have the most, you know, fucking ignorant, ignorant possible, you know, position that you can have ever it seems it's just insane the way that these people think and operate okay this lady so I, i'd actually never heard of this lady uh her name is leah dun dundas <laughs> leah dundas i don't know um not really yeah, I'm not really sure who she is. She sounds completely crazy, Too though. Up. They're like, well, about this disassociating from you because you're such a hot potato. Hold on. <laughs> <Just opposite. laughs> That's funny. There we go. And they're like, well, about this disassociating from you because you're such a hot potato. And I'm like... Just, just hold your fire. Let me school you a little more. You're a rich oh, guy. And your sole stock in trade is you write really big checks to the movement. Checks don't win this war. Checks by people like me to be the tip of your spear and be your boots on the ground to fight your war for you. This is a two variable equation. I need you and you need me. Don't make the fucking freaking mistake. Pardon my French. <laughs> <laughs> I said freaking. Don't make the freaking mistake. Sorry, God. Do not make the mistake of thinking for a single solitary second that all you need is a big damn wallet because your wallet will be sitting in a FEMA camp burning your legal tender as Tinder if you don't have people like me helping you out. <laughs> oh, gosh. You know, she like really thought about that line right there. Like, man, Tinder and Tinder sound so close to each other. I think I can work this in and it's going to be like kind of one of my mic drop moments real quick. And she's totally, I mean, she hasn't dropped the mic. I mean, I'm sure it could be she has more to say now. But she's in the mic drop position. For those that are listening to the audio podcast, the, she's in the mic drop position. Like, hell yeah, motherfucker. I just said some shit. You know, that's where she's at. But my goodness. So she's talking about these rich people, which, you know, and, and then, you know, giving them their their money and whatnot. Um, 
this is like the Republicans all like that's what's so that kills me so much about this the Republicans and them acting like they're so populist, like they're so like about the the people, they the every man, you know, they're not. They they just want to give rich people everything they want. They somehow all of their arguments tend to align with the agenda of the ultra rich more than anybody else. You know what I mean? It's amazing. Uh, you know, I mean, there now. Granted, we do on the left, uh, unfortunately, have a lot of uh, corporate Democrats that function very similarly, um, and that's why you know when it comes to things like war. Uh, you know, we don't have that different of a platform, to be completely honest. Uh, but when, when uh, you know, but, you know, they, but the Republicans do it and are proud of it. Here's the thing, like the, the Democrats at least pretend to not be that way. They pretend to like <laughs> fucking, you know, um, they, they, I mean, they pretend to like actually care about poor people and like using some of that government money to like help some of the more the more the people that are in need you know and the more vulnerable classes in our communities you know and go hey we can give some of this money you know some of the taxpayer money that we get from these rich people we can actually put that back into uh our community by helping out some of these poorer communities that need more resources and you know because they've turned this whole come this whole myth of meritocracy They've basically turned it all into this fucking, uh, you know, everything just happens to be the the case that the, you know, the places where people try the hardest get the best resources, you know. And so those places where the people have the best are always the richest places, you know, and they always have the best schools because they manage to figure out how to fund the schools based off of the property taxes from the surrounding area hmm wonder why they went and did that it's, it's almost as if like you know uh not not that long ago they just sort of decided that if you cross these train tracks that on the other side all the houses are going to be worth like half you know and that really hasn't changed ever since you know and they call it you know they say it's high crime areas but that that's why you over police certain areas because if you over police area then, then you can call them a high crime area even if you're just arresting people for pot until they can't work until they can't do anything else and then they have to turn to something a little bit more uh you know violent for uh taking care of themselves uh which is you know police create crime and they've created this whole system just to you know, be able to get the best resources and say that they deserve those resources because fucking meritocracy, man. <laughs> anyway, rant over. My sock in trade is my mouth and my mind and my pen and my willingness to go to the mat for every single person in here and their kids times 10 and your kids too. And he said, for the good of the group, you should stand down. And I said, hell no, for the good of the group, I'm going to stand up because let me tell you something. You're just the latest in a long line. You're the truckers this month. A few months ago, it was the railroaders, and then it was the pilots, and next month it'll be... So um, just to be clear, this lady was very, very much okay. um, part of the, uh, you know, the, the truckers gone wild <laughs> Canadian uh, thing. And now she's like basically pushing this whole, uh, 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 you know, truckers going to um, to Washington, right? And they're gonna, I guess, circle Washington. They're gonna drive around in circles around Washington. I don't, not really sure how it all works, but it sounds pretty stupid. Uh, you know, all because they don't want to get vaccinated and they don't, you know, like the uh, the uh, the mandates to get vaccinated. Which I, I really, I don't know. I, I don't understand that shit. I mean, because it, it wasn't because they're like, oh, but, you know, you can just if you wear like a hard hat or whatever, you can leave the hard hat at work when you leave. So, you know, a vaccine isn't like the same type of safe safety measure. It's like a hard hat, uh, you know, as like something like OSHA would be able to dictate. Right. And the Supreme Court agreed on this. The Supreme Court said that, the, you know, thought said made this fucking dumbass argument. And they're like, OK, fine. but. You can also get tested once a week. 
that was also part of it. You can leave the, the, the tests that you did, you know, at, at work. You can leave that behind. But it's like almost like their, their arguments aren't consistent. <laughs> Even the people who will get paid the, the, or, or, that, that are touted as the absolute best people making legal arguments that we put up to the very, very top of the highest court of the land make dumbass fucking arguments like that. Unbelievable. It's ridiculous. It pisses me off. But what is it with this? Come on. Okay. Will be something else. And the way I am able to surround them with a million dollars worth of assets and resources is through this microphone. That is how people know me. That is the connections I make. That is how I keep you safe. This is my weapon. Yeah. You are committing an act of treason to try to take it away from me. And I use it better than anyone I know. Yeah. Wow. This lady is really psyched about herself. <laughs> she is really wow she thinks she's something else you know she's like i'm the best i do all this stuff you know i'm the one that, and you know and, and honestly i've never even fucking heard of her i think she probably probably like believes that she was like a big part of like what got the truckers you know to all go to canada and do that their whole canadian thing uh i i don't really know but um because she is, uh, well, no, because she's American. So what the fuck, dude? Like, I don't know how involved in the that she could be. So maybe she was just involved in the the failure that was the American trucker uh, thingamadoo that happened, you know? Like, they were all trying to, uh, let me see here. Leia Dundas, one of the main organizers of the trucker's convoy that is currently pointlessly circling D.C., Recounts how big money donors tried to sideline her because she is unhinged. So she accused them of treason. Yeah. And I was basically just like, yep, basically doing the, the yeah. Uh, <laughs> they wanted to distance themselves from you. You sure are demonstrating exactly the reason <laughs> this second, this clip. <laughs> not your, not you're doing that. Not, not, that's not, not the reason you're doing that. You know, <laughs> uh, that's funny. Oh, Jesus. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty pathetic. I think I messed up the writing on that, so I'm getting confused. Sure, not demonstrating exactly the reason. Oh, right this second in this clip, in this clip not you're, you're not doing that. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking there. Uh, other than just she's basically showing exactly why the donors need to fucking uh, to, uh, distance themselves because she's acting like a fucking nutbag. You know, I mean, listen to this shit. What, what, is she, what is she doing? What is she saying? You know, and she's going to go after the people with money. Like, all of your arguments are for the people with money, like getting rid of regulation and whatnot. I mean, I've heard people made like the really piss poor argument that, like, uh, people want to, you know, make sure to get rid of regulation because that, uh, or the, no, big corporations actually like a lot of regulation because that gets rid of competition, which to me just seems like such a dumb argument. Like, how, like, in what way? How does that get rid of competition? Like, you lobby for a certain regulation that only, that only your competitor has. Like that, they, I, that doesn't make. If you're if you're in competition, that means the, the regulations that would fuck them up would fuck you up too, <laughs> like because they're your competitor, you know. So it doesn't really make sense to say that. Oh no, they want lots of regulations so that they can, you know, uh, have less competition. That just doesn't make any fucking sense. But uh, let's see what else we got here. So let me check and see if we got any comments. No, no comments so far. Okay. Let's see. Oh yeah, and this is a uh, crazy guy, you know, old. old uh, I don't know, and this seems like it was new, but like, 
This, this is such such a weird one. I'm testing and using it. Well, why doesn't somebody? Hear? We have the we have the firepower to wipe out every Russian city, just one Trident submarine. And of course, we're not using it, and they have no intention of using it. Well, why doesn't somebody in the administration call Putin's bluff? He's bluffing. And every time he says, well, if you do that, we're going... How the fuck do you know he's bluffing? The dude's crazy. He's literally put his fucking nuclear arsenal on, like, high alert. And all it takes is, like... Because, you know, the whole fit point of, like, a mutually assured destruction is that the destruction is mutually assured. Which means if one person does it, Everybody fucking does it, <laughs> you know. What I mean, so that's a problem, you know. So we can't have the first person do it, you know. That's the whole. That's how all like how that works, you know. And we don't know. This dude is crazy. He just invaded a fucking country, like out of nowhere. Like we figured out that they were gonna try to do some false flag video. So like he sidestepped that whole thing. Which was kind of funny on our part as far as like a psyop just being like, hey, everybody, here's what he's going to try to do. <laughs> you know? And Putin was like, ah, fuck, that was what I was going. That was what I was going to do. How did uh, we're going to have to do something else now? Something different. And what did they come up with? They're like, we just decided that those are independent nations. Yeah, we call dips. We call dips. Yeah. I don't know why I get the yeah. 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 It's like I mix it up with German too much, I think. That's the problem. Going to escalate. Oh, no, you're not, old buddy. We're going to do you if you try to do us, and we'll make it worse, and you know it. <laughs> why is why does he always manage to sound sexual? Oh, we're going to do you, buddy, just like you're doing us, and we're doing it together. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. <sighs> Shit, what were we talking about? I just, just lost track, you know. Something really fun entered my mind, and now I'm just... Oh, right, Ukraine. That's it. Putin knows we were powerful. He doesn't have much of, a, of an army. He doesn't have much of an economy. It's a tiny economy, and he's playing up... He's got the 11th largest economy in the world, <laughs> you know? Which, out of like 200 something, something countries, like that's quite quite a bit, you know. It's not terrible, you know, just because it's not as awesome as the U.S. Which, you know, I don't even really like the way that they judge, uh, you know, what it, what a, a good economy is, because a good economy doesn't mean there aren't poor people you know, in that country, you know, it just means that there's a whole lot of rich people in that country, which usually means that the poor people that are in that country are, are way more poor, <laughs> you know, I, uh, just saying there, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of that going around. A bluff. But unfortunately we have a man in charge in Washington who doesn't like to stand up to bluffs. He folds his winning hand every single time. We have the... No, he's he's just not being a fucking idiot, man. Firepower he's going to wipe out... What, what do you want him to do? Well, like, like, I don't know. It's like, and, and, or, and how, to call, how do you call the bluff? Do you shoot a fucking nuke at him? Is that what he's trying to say? Like, we have the firepower to call their bluff by shooting a nuke at them? Like that's in that's fucking insane. That just assures that he'll shoot a nuke back at us or at Ukraine or somebody else. Like that's insane. You know uh, what does he mean? Just tell him that like, hey, we all know you're full of shit. We're kind of doing that by forcing everybody to like just not work with them anymore, which is costing them trillions of dollars. You know, uh, by because their stock has dropped, their the fucking the their money the has dropped. Uh, you know, everything. And I've seen some people sit there and try to argue that, oh, that's going to make them independent. I don't think it will. I, I mean, I don't think it's going to work that way. Uh, I really don't. I mean, I think you'd need a lot more resources in house, you know, than they have in order to, uh, in order to, you know, be, uh, uh, 
to, in, in order to do that, in order to like rebuild from within and get like as strong as like the Nazis, Nazi parties did, where they're basically just trying to take over the world. Um, but you know, that's not, uh, I, I don't think that's what's going on here. Um, and I don't think it's a smart idea for us to do whatever he thinks calling the bluff is, you know, uh, I'm not really sure, but yeah. Oh, that's right. I, I actually went to the tweet. So I'm in like the comment section. Which I can find that like from the actual like spot that it was at, you know, because I, I wouldn't mind reading the tweet, the, the comments from, uh, you know, the act like from his site, you know what I mean? Like that would be kind of interesting to watch it from the 700 club and see what these Christians were saying about this shit. I can't tell you how very many times I've seen that look, y'all. It's very telling. And I don't spend my time in churches. I spend it working in psychiatric hospitals. Yeah. Uh, not really uh, sure what look you start like, like, as to what you've seen. That look, I worked on a psych unit for 10 years previous to CCU. Now the old man shouldn't be given a platform, period. I, I mean, I, I agree, Jim. I mean, mainly just because, you know, um, I feel like it'd be really embarrassing to have something happen to his health, uh, like on stage, like that, like what happened to, to Ron Paul, you know, when he had that stroke, like mid fucking interview, which was just horribly embarrassing. Like, <laughs> Uh, I was just like, oh, man, people that have like the the risk of those kinds of health pro health problems need to not be on fucking stage like that, you know, <laughs> like on a live show, you know, do something where you can like edit that shit or something, you know what I mean? I don't know. That's what I would do. Right. Let me go back to mine. Yeah, anyway. So yeah, so I, I I picked this. The it has a labor force of ref, roughly seventy million people, which is the world's sixth largest. Russia's large automotive industry ranks as the world's tenth largest by production. So I mean, they need the rest of the world. I think in order to get their money, they make way too much money through globalization, through like selling things to other countries, and you know, and getting that money, and then. Uh, I mean, just going completely solo, I, I just really don't think, I, I, don't, I think they would crumble from the inside. I don't think they're strong enough for that, you know? Um, I don't think they'd be independent and then just, and then start like marching all over the rest of the world, you know what I mean? This is so fucking weird. This, like, who, who this, let me see who this is. Let me just do this. Yeah, but who the fuck is this? Oh, oh, so he's just a streamer. So the streamer's dude is named Jared Noble. <laughs> he looks like he's like a Brett Michael Stan or some shit. Man. Like, I don't know. He looks ridiculous. Like, what a goofball, man. Like, holy shit. Like, if I ever look this stupid, like, I, I, I hope that y'all would tell me, like, hey, dude. Tone it down, bro. You look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> you know, like I would hope that that would be the case. But let's let's listen to what this guy uh, has to say. Uh, That's not exactly what you want. Maybe not. Like because of course we always choose. Oh, okay. All right. Here we go. Our real position is that women are our currency to be bartered and uh, traded. You know, we Did he just literally said out loud out of his face hole that women are currency. Like he he used the word currency. 
which means like that's I mean that's that's even less than property. <laughs> like that's you know, that's like something you use to like buy other you know like trade for shit. That's fucking crazy. That's like sex slavery talk. Like Jesus Christ. That's that's disgusting. What what a disgusting position to have, you fucking nutbag weirdo. You're fucking blonde. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Like, does he does he like really think that uh, dog, the bounty hunter guy, like is so cool? It's like was he watching that show? Like, man, you know, he's got a kick ass style, you know? That's that's pretty kick ass, right? Bleach blonde, long hair, you know, like glasses that uh, have some gold in them, you know. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. I, I I can dig it. I can dig it. See, in the Bible, it's not biblically unfounded. It's not, not like I'm making stuff up and, and being disrespectful or anything. But it's like you could trade a nice virgin bride for a half a dozen yoke of oxen. And I think if we went back to that and got rid of all this feminism crap, forget about your master's degree, forget about your career, and just go mommy mode. Wow, dude, you can see, look at her fucking face, dude. She is not having it. Let me pull it back just a little bit. As he's saying that disgusting shit, I want you to look at her face. Because she is like, it's like you can tell she needs to feel like, it's like she's realizing in real time just how sick the positions that she ha is forced to have are. And I think if we went back to that and got oh. rid of all this feminine. There we go. Virgin bride for a half a dozen yoke of oxen. And I think if we went back to that and got rid of all this feminism crap, forget about your master's degree, forget about your career, and just go mommy mode. That's what I believe in. Yeah. Do you, uh, do you, uh. <laughs> She's like, yeah. Uh, yeah, I totally would be traded you know i'm fine with being traded to somebody for cattle yeah that's totally that's totally normal and totes totes cool what the fuck and then now and it's like yeah because that it is in the bible i mean he's not he's not wrong about that but so is fucking slavery where we i'm pretty sure ubiquitously like agree that slavery is immoral you know, even though the God of the universe that created everything didn't know that. But uh, All right, here's that. Well, here's her response. Now, listen to this. Now, she she doesn't disagree, which is crazy, you know, because they're not allowed to disagree with one another. That's that's another thing. Like, you can't. You know, they always say that about the left, which we fucking disagree all the goddamn time. You know, I trust me, I disagree with leftists like left and right. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, but no, but they like literally have to be in lockstep. I think that they should also like, you know how there used to be like dowries back in the day, like in the biblical, yeah. period, you'd have to like, yeah, I think that we should bring that back. However. Okay. So I was talking, uh, with a, I think she was in Hold on, dowry. I feel like that doesn't that have something to do with like, like the parents giving the kids away. Yeah, property or money brought by a bride to her marriage on their marriage. Oh, so, okay, so it's like Elizabeth's dowry was to be 45000 Oh, so there's like a money trade sort of going like, what's the actual meaning of dowry? Let's look at that one. The money, goods, or estate that a woman brings to her husband or his family in marriage. So, okay, so... so <laughs> What they're talking about is like fe fucking feudalism, uh, you know, <laughs> where it's like the Lord's Mary, you know, you want to keep it. That's why there's like so much incest from back in the day and shit, because he had all these families like marrying in, you know, each other was like. But the thing is, you'd have this one wealthy family. Right. And then you'd want like them to marry some other wealthy family. Right. You know, and that was sort of uh, like what, what they had. And they were like, hey, if you marry our daughter. You know, and you know, we'll give you this many diamonds and shit like that, right? 
because they want their daughter to go towards you know the most wealthy it's such it's so fucking old thinking like it's just crazy that they think the world works that way like the thing is like when what, what they're talking about with marriage and everything the world doesn't work that way anymore man like you can't have you know like what kind of jobs like you got to be the fucking huxtable family in order to have like uh a single and of course both of them are working too but to have like a single fucking um a person like paying all the bills for an entire actual family you know it just doesn't work anymore you got to either be a doctor a lawyer or just already come from some form of money you know you need to be like the 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 i don't know fucking uh uh twitter you know uh money or something you know some some business that you started you know um if you start from from there you know you can take care of a family uh on your own but but for the most part like women have to work because they're they're like if if a man you know if a couple get together right and they they want to start a family they can't they can't afford to have the family if they're not both fucking working you know, and they've basically set this up. The Re the Republicans have set up the wealthy to be allowed to do whatever they want, to be able to pay as little as they want. And any kind of unions that come out to maybe fight against that, they got all these ways of busting them up and making it so that they never actually get anywhere with their unions and or got the power that they have, like they've done here in Florida and right to work states. Like it's your right to work. Like, like, as if there's some states where you don't have the right to work, which what the fuck, what the fuck is he? What 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 is, what is even going on? Doesn't, that makes no sense. Indian <laughs> woman about her arranged marriage, but here's the deal with that. Okay, so here's the deal with arranged marriages: is that your parents want what's best for you. So if you let your parents choose for you, they're absolutely going to choose the best. Not exactly what you want, maybe not. Like because of course we always choose what is the worst for us. Um, at women as a tendency. So what the fuck. Who who are they talking about? I don't always choose what's the worst for me. That's not true. <laughs> I mean, it's saying like what a child, like someone who's like thirteen, maybe, you know. And even not all thirteens choose. The thirteen year olds it's like choose what's worst for them. It's so stupid. Like to 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 sit here and be like, no, the parents know best. You know, the parents, like, won't let... I mean, that's, like, where you got a lot of, like, parents that, like, won't let you date outside of your race, you know? Because... But they know what's best, right? To keep it inside the the your, your race. Now, don't date and marry outside of your race. Like, my God. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? No, the fuck. Your parents do not know what's best for you. <laughs> like, look. you need A little... Here's a little secret. Nobody knows what's best for you, okay? Nobody knows what the future holds, okay? You got to just do your best, and when you learn better, do better. That's all you can do. That's it, okay? And bad things are going to happen. Good things are going to happen. Hopefully more good things than bad things, but shit's going to happen, okay? There's nobody that knows what, you know, all this shit and knows exactly what you're supposed to do and who to marry, you know, for fuck's sake. That's insane. So I like fully support arranged marriages. Um, <laughs> like parents having a say and like choosing and like make like choosing the family that you choose to bond yourself with. Like I fully support that. I think that's great. Um, I think that we should do more of that. I think we should actually bring that back because it's really not a bad idea. Wow. Okay. I think that's a terrible idea. I think arranged marriage is awful it does it's not it's not a good thing man like what are they talking about that's a terrible thing to fucking sit here and, and have arranged marriages where your parents are telling you like what you need to do to like get married you know that's just insane that fucking that makes no sense at all like that's some old 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 school shit and then like talking about the fucking dowries and everything wow unbelievable that is just crazy let's see what i so i think that's the last one oh wait there might be one more let's see oh yeah 
This dude. Marty Grisham. Actually, I don't. I kind of don't recognize it. What, what is with this these wooden studios that they got? You know, not that mine's like so perfect, but you know, I feel like at least mine's got like some different colors that aren't all, all just wood based, you know. Got some pretty kick ass, like, you know, uh, plants, right? You know, some gold, gold colors going on there. That nice uh, forest green. And every single one of theirs is like wood, like this, you know, thing. And I don't even know what that is. But anyway, sorry. Maybe I'm just giving the shit a hard time. <laughs> I feel like. Uh... All right. Let's... But I saw the throne of Satan and I saw out of the bottom of the throne of Satan came a. Hold on. What? What? Where? Where was this at? Was that like, cause I've actually, I live in Florida and we actually have a devil's chair. I, we, we, in, uh, in a particular, uh, graveyard in, I want to say Casadega, which is like, uh, which capital of Florida. Right. Um, is that what you're talking about? Because we, we honestly don't even know which one it is. <laughs> it's, it's one of three. It's possible one. You know, because uh, that that way, um, you know, it kind of gets you a get out of jail free card when you leave your uh, beer there and it doesn't end up empty the next morning. You're going to be like, oh, shit, must be the uh, must be one of the other two devil chairs. <laughs> what the fuck? What are you talking about? See, this is what I'm saying. Like people that actually believe they have a fucking channel, a channel to God. You know, and see, like, no, the fuck you don't. You don't have a channel to God. You're just saying what you think, okay? You're saying what you think. Unless you can demonstrate that it's true, I don't give a fuck, you know? Like, what the hell are you talking about? You've seen the, de okay, but, okay, whatever. Fine, just, I, let's just give him that for a second. Let's see what he, what he saw about the devil's throat, okay? Okay. Hey. Almost like a force field from a Star Wars movie or something. It was, a, and I call it a stronghold because it was a mindset. It was a way of thinking. It was a pattern and a cycle of thinking. And I saw it come out of the bottom of his throne and shoot to the earth. And I literally was in the spirit with the Holy Spirit. And I said, what? Wait, wait, when the fuck was? Was he dreaming? Was this like a lucid dream of some sort? Or does he like what like actually expect everybody to believe that he took off of planet Earth, like his actual carnal body, and is and was looking at Satan's throne that's I guess flying around in fucking space, right? That's shooting off an orb of some sort, an orb to the fucking like I mean I you know that 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 Satan's power or what I, fire, what the fuck is going on and what is it with these people that that can get out here and, and if, yeah that's exactly a great name for that loudmouthprayer.org yeah he has a loud mouth just saying like whatever the fuck weird shit he thinks <laughs> and then acting like he knows it's true jesus christ in the world i mean come on David. yeah no what kidding say, what, yeah. Am what I is fear, that right? yeah. yeah i'm like Hanging on this. <laughs> I, do. Me, I know. Here it goes. He said to me, that is a mindset that Christians are not to get into politics and government. Mm. And it literally came from the throne of Satan. But I saw the throne of Satan and oh. I saw out of the bottom of the throne. Okay. So basically what he's saying is anytime you hear people saying, hey, you know what? We should keep uh, religion and government separate. They're like, Dad, it's from the pit of the, f or not the pit. I'm sorry, it's not a pit. If, if if he's flying around out in space, that is from the throne that is flying out in space. <laughs> that is of the devil, the devil's throne that's flying around out in space. Okay, and uh, yeah, uh, that that because you know, like which version, dude? Like, here's the thing. If, and I bet you, of course, I bet you, you believe that it's your version of of 
your uh you know your interpretation of your doctrine of your religion uh, you know i'm sure that's the one that you think should be ruling the government right well here's the problem nobody fucking agrees on that we have like what we have over 200 uh denominations of christianity in the u.s alone that means there were enough times where uh you know people at a church were like you know what we don't believe this one little part you know what Hey, everybody, let's get the fuck out of here. Am I right? Let's let's just get out of here. Come on. Uh, we're going to go start our own thing, okay? Because you guys think that you have to be baptized to go to heaven, and we don't believe that. Who else is the non-baptized people uh, that think that we can go to heaven? So you guys, okay, there we go. Okay, come on. Let's all go. Let's all go. Let's go start our own shit. And that's happened 200 fucking times just in the U.S., and it's something like 1,400 or something. Uh, you know, in the rest of the world. And, but you want like, you know, you want everybody do, using that to determine what is, you know, what, the way the government is ran. Here's the thing. We have to run the government with the understanding that it is a country full of different people that have different religions, right? Some of which don't have a religions like myself, Right. But you have to be someone that's sort of outside of all of that enough to be able to say, like, okay, I get that your 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 religion's version of morality says, you know, that it's okay to kill your kids if they talk back, you know, uh, and take them outside of town and stone them to death. I, I know that your version of your religion says that, okay, but because uh, we, we're not gonna, you know, we have to come up with some sort of basis for what is right and what is wrong outside of everybody's religion we're going to go ahead and say that that's wrong that you shouldn't murder your own children uh for talking back um and we should maybe make a bit more of a methodology rather than a list of rules that comes from a 2000 year old holy book written by you know uh, bronze age sheep herders okay uh, it's just in, insane. Like what we, so that, that's what I just come trying to like constantly trying to tell people, you're going to have Hindu people like, you know, and, and you know, me, get, getting mad at the, at the Christians, getting mad at the Muslims, getting mad at Scientologists, getting mad at the fucking, you know, you name it, just like, it just goes on forever. And then each of those things have different interpretations of them. Right. And those, those are interpretations of different doctrines of different uh, denominations of different, you know, I mean, it's, it's, there's no fucking possible way we could base the government off this shit. It wouldn't ever fucking work. Okay. We need some kind of, of, of morality that stands outside of all of that, you know, and is like, Hey, don't hurt other people and fairness and equality. You know, fairness and equality is good. That's a good thing. We can strive for that as a goal. And uh, don't hurt one another, you know. Um, don't You don't have to – we can't, like, force anybody to help one another. But we can at the very least say you don't – you you can't hurt other, other people, right? Hurt each other, right? And I feel like that's a pretty good methodology, you know. It's a, a just, it, you know uh, – uh, it's a non-subjective evaluation of consequences of actions with respect uh, to a goal. The goal being the best well-being for everybody in the country or in that community, you know. And I, I, this, I think that's a better route to take. And maybe we can even improve upon that uh, that um, that methodology, like over time, and like have all these different uh, ways to amend things as the world gets more complicated, like with the internet and stuff like that, you know, we're kind of having to come up with like new laws to be like, ah, oh, this is wrong. You know, you shouldn't be allowed to do this. Shouldn't be allowed to do that, which they wouldn't even thought about back in the early nineties. You know what I mean? They'd have been like, what? Like, <laughs> you know, like what, what are you even talking about? Cause they didn't have an internet. So we're going to have to have some sort of way to update some shit. Right. And they think that, Oh, but I can just talk to my Holy spirit, like God, God, thing you know and it'll tell me what <laughs> uh we should do about this internet thing that's not mentioned once in the book that i claim is the you know uh the arbiter of all morality you know <laughs> unfucking real but anyway 
Oh, we got our boy, Skeptical Leftist. What's up, man? Because <clears throat> his parents have never turned around. But yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I know. And that That's what like was driving me crazy. I was just like, are you kidding me? Like, we're just going to leave it up to the parents only? That's that's insane. They're going to always make the uh, the worst possible decisions, it seems. But it seems folksy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that seems to be their whole their whole bag, right? Make every, it's like uh, make everything like it's like folksy. <laughs> you know. Southern folksy type, you know. Let's see. Yeah. Makes them look like they're yes, it makes them look like they're of the people when really all they're doing is exactly what the wealthy people want them to do, you know. They they seem to always be fighting for the exact agenda of the ultra wealthy, you know. And it's just and then, but they've somehow <laughs> flipped it, you know, to make it feel like it's uh, to to these people that they are, you know, doing what's best for the everyman, the poor people, and everything like that. And it's just not just not the case at all, you know. But. Uh, Wow, that was crazy. That was like, what, four videos and that lasted an entire hour. I did not mean for it to go that long. But hey, y'all, thank you so much uh, for watching. And um, yeah, I'm going to try to do some more of these. And you can definitely check me out on, um, let's see, on, on Patreon. If you want to go to patreon.com, you can do that. That's always cool, right? Um. And if not that, then you should check me out on Twitch. I am Skeptic Brentley on Twitch. I'm really trying to get this channel uh, moving. So, <laughs> so uh, check it out. Um, but all right, you know, keep on living the journey. That's all we're doing. My alarm's going off.